Alright, what the fuck is up? I bet you weren't expecting this shit. Bet you weren't. But you getting it. Oh, you gonna get it good. You gonna get it good. The, the most awkward part of this is that I am actually currently running my hands over my stomach. I don't know why. This is not something I do. This is not something I have ever done. You can't even see it, so it's kind of irrelevant that I'm doing it. But I am going to continue doing it just so the mental image of myself doing it reaches your brains and until it just infects you and and I guess you vomit or whatever happens after that. I don't know. Maybe you'll like it. I don't fucking know. Anyway. Marvel. Marvel! Why not? I have I have found for some reason, I have found myself with some free time to play some Marvel. And so I'm gonna fucking do it. It's because I'm procrastinating. It's because I'm procrastinating. Give me a second. My th I can feel my throat kind of itchy a little bit. Damn! Person using Team Darkstalkers against Team Bullshit! Ah! So yeah. The reason why I have found myself with a, an abundance of free time. Procrastination. Gotta love it. And I'm kind of forced into it a little bit. Not really. But like, so... My math class has got to have the most awkward pacing schedule I have ever dealt with in my life. So, like, every single time we have a certain set of... I mean, obviously, there's... You know how classes work. If you're going off of a book, there are chapters of a book. Sometimes, most of the time, there are subsections of chapters that you go through, you know, one by one. And you eventually make your way through the book. Sometimes you skip a section, blah, 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 whatever. That's irrelevant. You go section by section until you complete it. And then at certain points throughout uh, those sections, there may be a quiz or a test. Something similar to that kind of style. This shit is set up like that. But in the most, like I said, like awkward possible way. So like... We will go through, and let's just say, let's just go with what we're doing right now. We're on chapter three of this book. We finished 3.1 to 3.3. We went on to 3.4 and 3.5. We did 3.4 and 3.5. We were told we were assigned homework to do it. Uh, she only collects homework intermittently, so it's not like it's just immediately she assigns it. It's due the next uh, class period. That's not how it works. That would be sensible, right? Why would we want to be sensible in, in school? Sensibility is kicked out the fucking window. It's just a sign. Here are the problems you have to, you're going to have to do for this section. Do them whenever, and I'll just tell you they're due when they're due the next class date, eventually, whenever the fuck that happens. But so, like, we did 3.1 and 3.3 two weeks ago now. Actually, I guess it was a week and a half. And then, last week, at the final class date, we did 3.4 and 3.5. And then, the last class period, we got into chapter 4. And then, the class period after that, we were uh, told that the homework for chapters 3.1 and 3.3 would be due, and there would be a quiz on chapter 3.1 to 3.3. When we're already in chapter 4, and this is how the entire class has been set up, like this is not like an isolated incident this is how it has always been like we will do the first half of chapter one then the second half of chapter one and start chapter two and then we'll have a quiz on the first half of chapter one then we'll get into the second half of chapter two and we'll have a quiz on the second half of chapter fucking one i don't get it it blows my mind please slide frank west no no slide okay just keep throwing pocket okay, and that's not gonna work actually it might my trade this is just looking amazing right now. I'm super happy we're here. At least we get this fine view of Chun-Li's ass, at least for a time. Now it's gone. Um, But yeah, that's how that shit has been set up. It's absolutely wonderful. I cannot possibly describe my absolute amazement at the efficiency with which this class is being run. It's amazing. I fucking hate my life. And so, like, that just promotes procrastination. Because why the fuck would I want to go through and do all my Chapter 4 work so that 
now what is fresh in my mind is chapter 4 and I've forgotten the nuances of chapter 3 when we're going to go and do a test on chapter 3 right afterwards. It's fucking stupid. I, so now, like, I learned very quickly just to, like, not do the homework until basically the class period before we have a quiz on it. Because it's like, otherwise I have to go back, depending on the subject matter, but in general, I will have to go back through and, uh, at least do a cursory amount of review, whereas, if I wait until the class period before, then I can just fucking, this dude really just taunt a fighter, like, you just taunted a fighter, congratulations, your parents must be the proudest members of the world. It's just like, man, have a little bit. Like, have at least a small amount of sensibility. If you're gonna taunt somebody, at least make it mean something. You know, wow, that looked fucking weird. Body. Bodied again. That's honestly, that's doing less damage than I would have expected it to do. Um... But yeah, so like, I have no real good reason. Because that was the very first thing I did. She, I thought this was amazing. She assigned all of the chapter's work. Well, not all of the chapter. All of everything. Um, oh, I didn't know her taunt had a hitbox. This piece of shit just taught me something new. Um, so... At first, I thought, like, this is amazing. She posts all of the homework... From now until the test, every single problem we are going to have to do for homework, she assigns us. She tells us what it is beforehand, before we actually get to that section. So, if I am feeling particularly bored inside of my class during the lecture, I can work ahead because I know what problems I have to do. But th And so I did that for the first chapter, for the between the first test... I did every single problem because nothing was, like, difficult enough that I needed to hear a lecture or an explanation on it to figure out. It was all just very basic, logical problems. Nothing fancy, nothing hard. And so, I worked ahead. I did all of it. And then I figured out, like, I just did all of this work. And now I'm not going to have, like, any kind of review for it, any kind of, like... I'm not going to have any kind of refresher with it until the t until the quiz comes around, but the quiz won't be coming around for like three more weeks, or it may not even be seen until the test, which is going to be even longer. So I was sitting there like, man, what am I doing? It's pointless. So now I'm like a chapter and a half behind on homework, but I don't really even. It's, I'm not really behind. It's just it's a wonderful system. I don't. There's, like, there's nothing, I cannot fathom the point, like, how, the purpose of it, how it could be in any way advantageous to run the class, the way she is running it, but hey, she's taught here for a while, so she must know what she's doing, right? Because all teachers know what the fuck they're doing. It's actually really awkward, because, like, it's very obvious she understands the course material, I mean, you would have to. I would hope that if somebody displays a complete, like, disregard of knowledge for what they're supposed to be teaching, the school would probably get rid of them or at least, you know, assign them to classes that they are actually useful for. But despite the fact that she understands, you know, like, these trigonometry stuff, this algebra stuff, this calculus stuff, despite the fact that she does obviously understand the equations, how they're supposed to work and whatever, she is very, very bad at basic math. Very bad at it. Like, uh, the first, like, it was kind of, you know, she would take a little bit longer than I would expect. You know, like, you kind of want a teacher to be faster than you at figuring things out. That's kind of the point of them being the teacher, is that they're supposed to be better than you with things. Um, and I'm not trying to say, like, yo, I'm so much smarter than this teacher. Like, no, if I would, if she was not doing her lectures, I would fail this class. I would not there would be certain things that would just be, I don't really understand, I can't really understand by just looking at it. Sometimes I need a little bit of an explanation. So, um, but it's just, she had to do, I'm trying to think, I believe it was 
210, it was like 210 minus 26, or 210 minus 28, which, whichever those are, that is obviously just, oh, this is 184, or 182, whatever the answer is, like, that is just something that just clicks in my mind, I get it immediately, she had to write up on the board, she wasn't doing this for our benefit, she was just writing on the board, she wrote on the board, 210, minus 28, and she started carrying everything, and she no, actually, you know what, it was minus 18, which is even easier than 28, it was 210 minus 18, now I remember now, because the answer to that is 192, and so, I'm just sitting there like, is she really, like, is she really, is she really doing this, is this really happening, <laughs> is this, this is my math teacher, oh god, this is my math teacher, okay, so who do I want to play, I mean, I'm going to lose no matter what, this homie is a Mexican, so I'm assuming the connection is going to be booty butt tier in the first place. So let's just play who the fuck ever we want. You know what? I take that back. I take that back. Um, um, um. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I do know I'm about to get bodied by Morgan, though. If this dude has any understanding of Morgan whatsoever, I'm about to get my ass kicked. Go for broke. I called the wrong assist. Ow. God, that move's so stupid. Seriously, whoever thought Shell Kick was good as it is... Nice reset, bro. I didn't even know she had those. Yeah, whoever thought Shell Kick was a good idea and was balanced in his current incarnation deserves to be shot. I'm just saying. Okay. Stuff just doesn't come out. That's cool. I can't... I don't actually know whether or not the connection is fine. I haven't gotten to play enough. God damn. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I picked Taskmaster. I have never... What the hell? My buttons didn't come out. That was weird. I thought she would have landed. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it is laggy. It actually travels a good amount of the screen. The fuck? <laughs> I didn't even see that shit. Good shit. I got blown the fuck up. Never mind. Did that just hit me overhead? <laughs> what? My meaty timing sucks. I don't know why I mashed. I could have blocked that. <laughs> why did I mash? Obviously that's not gonna hit. Obviously that's fucking invincible. I don't know why I mashed buttons. <laughs> But if my meaty timing didn't suck balls, I would have killed Felicia. I shouldn't have used it on Felicia anyway. I should have saved it for more. Well, no, it would have been useless. Because my X-Factor ran out. So, yeah, my kid. That was the point. I got. That was actually... I was actually thinking about it a while back. And I thought, like, if I was going to... If I was going to pick those characters... I mean, if I was going to get back into this game and try to play it... Because obviously I am not interested in the um, the tournament dynamic of this game. I don't care for it. Most of the characters that are played, I don't care for it. It's just kind of a very boring environment to me, for me personally. And so I just, I would not use those characters. I mean, I would not try to play seriously. I wouldn't pick a serious team because I wouldn't want to play it seriously. I would understand that I would be going in at a disadvantage to everybody else. And I'm perfectly okay with that. And so, it wasn't actually Taskmaster. I can't remember who the second character I intended to use was, but it was Felicia somebody X23. 
Because the basic game plan there is that essentially with X-23 as an anchor, if I get a kill, I mean like if, I, if I'm on my anchor, if I at least kill one of their characters, um, and I play intelligently with my X-Factor, even if I lose Felicia and whoever the other second character was, if I had X-23 in my X-Factor, I could kill, if I got a hit, I basically won because of Dirt Nap. There were only two, well I guess technically three scenarios where that would not work out 100% of the time. Against Sentinel, which is basically a non-issue, nobody uses Sentinel. Um, 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 Morgan level 3, which again is kind of a non-issue because it's not a complete non-issue, but in general it is because everybody uses Morgan as their point. And almost nobody ever ends up with her as their anchor, so it's a very—it would be a very rare occasion that that would happen in the first place. But even then, even if it did happen, they would still have to have meter for a level three in order to do that, in order to get away from it. And the reason why I'm saying this is because Sentinel has hard drive, that's Invincible. Morgan's level three, and then Phoenix would be the other one. Uh, she could use her her level one as Invincible and would get through a Dirt Nap setup. Otherwise, everybody else is getting hit by Dirt Nap. There is no escaping it. Against somebody that actually knows meaty time and it isn't just doing it for shits and giggles like I did. <laughs> oh yeah, that was- Oh, damn, that did a lot of damage, but if Zero should have died for that. That's what I was thinking, like, she has gold armor, this dude's fucked, I can't believe that Zero did not end up getting hit. But she took a shit ton of damage from those busters. Ooh, is somebody rage quitting? Are the Mexicans rage quitting on each other? Oh wait, no, never mind, it was the other player that was Mexican. Well, this is fun. I don't know why I've been sitting. I've been sitting here. I went to, uh, oh, I went to Jack in the Box. I've been on a little bit of a fast food kick lately. I almost never get fast food, but I, uh, I went to, like I said, I went to Jack in the Box about oh, two weeks ago. Um, and I ended up getting their curly fries, and oh my god, their curly fries are so good. I almost never eat fast food. It's just not something I really bother with because in general like most fast food places are burger joints You can it is almost always a hundred percent Guaranteed that you can make a better burger than a fast food place can with a similar or less amount of money The entire point of generally going to restaurants or going to fast food places is that they save you the time that you would have to take to uh, make other stuff Man, I really don't want to play a Zero Strider player. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, in general, most of the people that are left playing this game use teams like this. And it's just, it is not interesting to me. But yeah, so like, but like I said, I went to Jack in the Box. I got their curly fries. Oh my god, they are so good. So now I'm going to go there, like, once a month. Just to get their fucking, just to get something plus curly fries. Because goddamn, their curly fries are good. And so I have it sitting here, and I haven't eaten it. So you're going to hear me, well, you're probably not really going to hear me chowing down. It's not really that obvious. I got myself a sourdough jack. It got tomatoes. It does. It does not have tomatoes. It has one big-ass tomato. <laughs> That would have been a really dirty setup. The previous one with the projectile throw and then She-Hulk. Either if they get hit by the teleport projectile, or they block it, and they probably have to deal with an unblockable since so She-Hulk hits low, and then he comes falling down with a high attack.
All that work. All that work. And now you just gotta deal with X Factor Strider. And She Hulk doesn't even have a level 3. That was terrible! You could have built up to a level 3, dude! What are you doing with your life? What X Factor was that? You can eat your She Hulk. You can eat like three more Strider combos. Especially the Strider combos this dude is doing. That was godlike. This motherfucker's godlike. This dude is amazing, and I'm scared of him now. This guy just rage quit, too. Rage quits all around? I guess so. Who am I stuck with? Okay, good. I thought I might have been stuck with the dude that, like, got... That was losing right there. The zero player. Who had just gotten the other two disconnected as well. So I pick it again, I'll pick it again. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong order. Wait, no. That was right. I do want the slant shot. I was trying to remember which one was the hard... Like, it's been so long. I can't even remember which one's the hard knockdown and which one's the soft knockdown. <laughs> Phoenix Wright Morgan? Really? Does that work? I don't feel like that'd work very well. Oh damn, he answered me. I was hope I thought I was gonna be able to fall. I can't remember. I, I don't remember how to fight anybody. I don't remember how to play this game. That's just that's a pretty that's a pretty solid way to put it. I was gonna command grab him. I was gonna command grab him again, but I didn't do it fast enough. That's what I did! Whoa. Is this? I don't even know. I was gonna command grab him again, but I didn't do it. I can't even remember the... I tried to do dirt nap to react to that and I just didn't get it. So I am just going to assume everything is wrong with these connections because the first connection sucked food tier. I don't even understand what happened half the time in that match. But I do know that I just got my ass handed to me and I don't want to stick around to play the Mexicans because weird shit has been occurring in both of those matches and I don't know. Like I said, I am not in tune enough with the game anymore to be able to identify like this is exactly what happened this was definitely lag this was definitely this or that i don't i don't i don't know anymore i don't i am i am out of luck i think because that was what i was already in i believe this is another mexican player and i don't i don't ever trust that shit like i have never had a good connection with a mexican player you would think that would be better than most given that i'm in california so mexico is just straight south of me but no I've never had a good connection with a Mexican player. So that's going to be that. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed yourself. You probably didn't, but hey. I tried 